All right, hey, shalom, my kim, shalom. First and foremost, as always, before we get started, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukha HaKodash. Double honors unto the apostles, the bishops, and the elders of Great Millstone that have taught us his truth and that root well. And peace and blessings go out to the hopeful members of the elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that are in the hopes of receiving salvation and mercy during the time of Jacob's trouble and that are worshiping the Heavenly Father in sincerity and spirit and in truth. All right. Now, in this lesson, I want to make a comparison concerning one of our forefathers, uh, Lot. All right. And pretty much, you know, bringing it full circle concerning how we now play in the same factor of the conditions and the mindset of what Lot had to go through. All right. Real quick before we play, because I wanted to get a TikTok video that I stumbled upon the other day to pretty much marry this comparison. But before we get that, let's read a couple uh, characteristics that Lot had to, you know, go through as he was living in Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. This is Second Peter chapter two and six in the NLT. It says later, the heavenly Father condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right and turned them into heaps of ashes. He made them an example of what will happen unto ungodly people, all right? Verse seven. <clears throat> but the heavenly father also rescued Lot out of Sodom because he was a righteous man who was sick of the shameful immorality of the wicked people around him, all right? And as we live in Babylon the Great, Okay, the great city uh, pursuant to Revelation 11 chapter, which is America, all right? It plays forth the characteristics of being known as what? A spiritual Sodom and Egypt, all right? And as it said, Sodom was known for what? Shameful immorality, all right? Now, when you get that word for shameful immorality, all right, in the Google, this is under AI overview, it says shameful immorality is behavior that is both immoral and shameful. Immorality is defined as behavior that is evil, sinful, or wrong, and it is often called wickedness. It can also refer to conduct that goes or does not follow standards of morality. Shameful behavior can be described as disgraceful, disgraceful, scandalous, or shocking. All right? And that's America to the T. <laughs> All right? In this world that we live in, Everybody's on that vibration of not caring for what the uh, repercussions are for their actions. All right. The society thinks that they can just laugh all day and think that that season of crying is never going to come. OK, but they're sadly mistaken because spiritually they're the same uh, uh, spirits during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. <coughs> that thought nothing bad was going to happen, just like um, Lot's nephews. All right. When you read Genesis, uh, the 18th chapter and the, I believe the 19th chapter also. All right. Lot's brother, uh, his sons-in-laws. All right. Salakia, his sons-in-laws, uh, when Lot gave him the news concerning what was going to happen to Sodom and Gomorrah and the other three cities around that region, that the angels were going to destroy it. They thought that uh, Lot was just kidding. You know, they took him as a joke. All right. And that's pretty much the same predicament and attitude that people have when they hear the message that we give them, all right? And they're going to be caught with the same judgment that's about to play out soon, man, all right? Reading a little more here, it says, in the Bible, shame is a state of defeat or de uh, degrading, or de I'm sorry, Salakia, degradation, all right? That is visible to others and elicts a response. If someone brought shame upon themselves by doing something wrong, they were expected to make amends to the community in public, all right? But in this world, you don't see none of that happening, all right? If anything, when someone does some kind of shameful, you know, immoral action, they're uplifted, all right? So the same judgment that happened to the spirits during the time of Lot is the same thing that's going to happen now, all right? And right now, as we're, you know, within the same lot as lot, 
we got to go through the same emotions, the same, you know, attributes that Allah had to go through, all right, of being vexed by the filthy conversations of the wicked. So let's get 2 Peter 2 and 7, but now uh, jumping to the KJV. It says, and deliver just Lot, all right? And when you get the word Lot in the Hebrew, it's Lawat, which means covering, all right? In the midst of Lot being in that wicked society, the Heavenly Father covered him from everybody else, all right? And spiritually, that's what the Heavenly Father is doing with the elect. Lord, to myself and you brethren and you sisters are part of that uh, small multitude. All right, but through us having this spiritual departure, sighing and crying for the abominations that are being done in the midst of this wicked uh, society, all right, the Lord is giving us that covering, all right, and spiritually that covering is the name of the Heavenly Father, all right, as Proverbs 18 and 10 tells us, uh, the name of the Heavenly Father is a strong tower, all right, and the righteous run into it and are safe, okay. So it says, and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversations of the wicked. All right. Now, real quick, let's get the word for vexed. <clears throat> it goes back to the Strong's G2669. Got the boneo. All right. It says, to tire down with toil, exhaust with labor, to afflict or oppress with evils. Okay. To make trouble for, to treat roughly. And this is exactly what Babylon the Great, aka America, like I said, that is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt, does to us, man, all right? Not only on a spiritual base, but also physically, you know? Brothers work hard, laborious jobs, all right? And on top of that, we got to deal with co-workers that are completely indulged into the rudiments of this world. Out of work, we got to do the same bullshit, you know? So we fit the same characteristics as Lot, all right? Where we are in touch and one with not only reality, but the reality that concerns the will of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man, all right? And like I said, when it comes to you having to converse and conduct yourself around people, it's nothing more but salt to the boom, <laughs> all right? Because you try to have some kind of dialogue with people and they kind of... You know, they look at you funny if you try to have that, you know, spiritual talk with them, you know, they look at you as if you have two heads, but really it's the other way around. Okay. All right. That's basically the point. All right. So from here, let's, uh, let me play that TikTok video that I had queued up and then, you know, we'll grab a couple more scriptures and then roll out from there. You know what your problem is? You're smart. Too smart. You overthink because your mind moves at a million miles a minute. And the scriptures tell us to be what? Wise as serpents, harmless as doves. Alright? That's what Yahweh Shai told us to do. In the book of Ephesians, the fifth chapter, Paul, you know, gives us the understanding to be circumspect because the days are evil. Alright? Every second of the day, us brethren are always taking heed to the set conditions that we're in every day, okay? And a part of that is, you know, tiresome, okay? And as uh, King Solomon had said in the book of Ecclesiastes 1 and 18, all right, it says, uh, matter of fact, let me start at 17. Salakia, so let's start at 16. It says, I commune with my own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to a great estate, and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge, and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that also, that this also is vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief, and that's the condition that we're in right now. All right, as we're disciples of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh and as the Heavenly Father gives us these increments of obtaining wisdom, we go through this process of grief. All right, case in point, when you read the laws, the laws is a beautiful example. All right, when you compare the way that people conduct themselves according to the laws, 
it puts you in that position of vexed, all right? Because when you filter it through the laws, it puts you in that spirit of like, God damn, you know, this place is wicked as hell. And you even cut yourself to the point where you're just like, fuck, <laughs> all right? But, you know, just bringing forth the point that this place is very, uh, you know, if you think about it too much, you're going to grief yourself out, <laughs> all right? So you can't really catch yourself up in that spirit. But the proof is that when one stands for truth in the world of deception, you're going to have these emotions, all right? And as, uh, I believe that's Sirach 21 and 12, all right? It's pretty much a similitude concerning what Solomon has said right here. This is, uh, yep, Sirach 21 and 12. It says, he that is not wise will not be taught, but there is a wisdom which multiplieth bitterness, all right? And that's this right here, man. Beginning with the apostles of Great Millstone that have given us this fountain of life, all right, that leads to, you know, everlasting life. This is where it's at, all right? Of course, it does come with suffering, but pursuant to Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge, all right, of the Bible is going to be the stability of our times, all right? This wisdom, you know, it does have, I wouldn't call it a con, but it does have a sacrifice that you got to endure, and that's, you know, going through the emotions but by you sticking with it you're gonna see the fruit of it all right when all hell breaks loose but even within your lot you see the fruit of it all right verse 13 it says the knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood all right and pursuant to john 7 and uh i believe that's 38 all right yahweh said he that believeth on me as the scripture has said out of his belly shall flow what rivers of living water all right second half it says and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life okay point blank period so let's keep uh let's tune back to this video on tiktok because you're not fooled by the world like everyone else you don't get along with most people because they just don't look at things the way you do you think you're dumb because you're smart enough to know you don't know everything now when it comes down to the way that we conduct ourselves, we're not you know sad puppies just looking at people with a side eye all right we have to play a poker face all right and that's also another vexing part of the slot where you you know have to act as if you uh not necessarily getting along because we do draw the line in the sand of where we stand on all right, because uh, pursuant to Ecclesiastes 8 and 1, uh, wisdom maketh the countenance of a man to shine, all right? But when it comes down to having the truth in us, all right, we don't cast it to the pigs, all right? But, you know, brethren know that feeling, you know, of having to feel and show forth the attitude of being fake, all right? <laughs> it's something that we got to do, Okay? And when it comes to Saturday, Friday, Sunday, whenever brothers go out to camp, you can be that super Israelite, okay? And call everything for what it is. But when it comes down to you having to go back into the world, you got to be like Clark Kent, you know? Put on your civil attire and go with the flow of society, but still within you, all right? Keeping that spiritual departure, just like Lot, man, all right? Lot probably didn't call the, Sodom, uh, the Sodomites, you know, Lot wasn't condemning him, all right? Because if he would have, they would have done their freak shit on him, all right? Just like when the angels pulled up to Lot's, uh, you know, house, all right? They were trying to smash, all right? And spiritually, that's the same thing that we got to do when we conduct ourselves in this world, man, all right? This world is out to get us, but like I said... Through us adhering to the word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, we have a fountain of life at our disposal. All right. Your problem is you're too smart, and happiness and intelligent people is one of the rarest things I know. Yeah, that's real. Happiness and intelligent people are one of the rarest things uh, that we know. All right, and through the spirit 
that's the mindset of what the elect have obtained all right because they you know we may lord's will we are the elect all right but we have those emotions where you know we were sad but when it comes down to saturday or like i said whenever brethren hold camp we're happy as hell <laughs> okay and through the spirit and within our week we have those you know little increments of happiness kick in when we tune ourselves in with the word when we're looking at you know the spectrum of prophecy so on and so forth all right we see this place going down all right and we're in the same spirit as lot of you know wanting to get the hell out of here man all right so let me play it one more time and then i'm gonna grab a couple other scriptures uh this won't be too long i don't want to make it too much of a uh long-ended video you know what your problem is you're smart too smart you overthink because your mind goes a million miles a minute you're sad because you're not fooled by the world like everyone else you don't get along with most people because they just don't look at things the way you do you think you're dumb because you're smart enough to know you don't know everything your problem is you're too smart and happiness and intelligent people is one of the rarest things i know man and there's a scripture that i just thought of uh it's in the apocrypha I believe it's in uh, Ecclesiasticus, but it speaks about how a righteous man uh, barely smiles. All right. Damn, I forget where that scripture is. It's a good one, though. All right. Because as I was, you know, listening to that the second time, I thought of Yahawashai, man. All right. Yahawashai had to go through the lot of what we're experiencing, but a thousand times worse. Okay. A thousand times worse, man. Yup, it's right here. Ecclesiasticus 21, same chapter, verse 20. It says, A fool lifteth up his voice with laughter, but a wise man does scarce smile a little. All right? <laughs> and, you know, us brethren can all testify to that. All right? <laughs> verse 21, it says, Learning is unto a wise man as an ornament of gold and like a bracelet upon his right arm. All right, that's basically the point. Uh, damn, there's another scripture that I just thought of, but uh, I just escaped my mind. Um, damn, it's a lot here. But yeah, so with that, Akim, Lord's will, uh, this was an edifying lesson to you, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to, you know, give that similitude concerning how we now play in the factor of being just like, uh, you know, lot. All right, we got to go through it. We got to endure until the end and wait for the Heavenly Father until he delivers us. All right. We can't take matters in our hands. It's impossible. All right. Just like Lot, once again, Lot couldn't do anything about it. OK, within those cities, Lot was the only righteous man. All right. Everybody else was wicked as hell. OK, and that's the same conditions that we find ourselves in. All right, and that, that's the spirit. That reminds me of uh, the scripture that I thought of where Yahushai uh, tells, um, I forget who it was. I think it was the, I don't think the, na uh, the name is told, but Yahushai tells him to let the, bed, uh, the, let the dead bury the dead. All right, the man wanted to bury his uh, father, but during that time, all right, Yahushai was there. All right, and the time of getting was you know it was something that was time sensitive all right and it's no different within this generation where we the getting has to be got <laughs> all right because the end is come all right now when Yahweh said that it's speaking about a spiritual dead all right because we live in a world where like i said people have no clue of what's about to happen in society all right so there's spiritually nothing more but walking corpses, all right, that are dead from the neck up. So we got to have that mentality of just, you know, going with the flow, saying hi, hey, shake hands. And outside of that, just continuing to push forward, all right? <clears throat> so with that, man, yeah, Lord's will, this was an edifying lesson to you, brothers and sisters, and you were exhorted to continue to push forward and fight the good fight of faith.
once again giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders of Great Millstone that have taught us the truth and that rule well. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.